The Wisconsin Institute for Sustainable Technology provides research, education, and laboratory services. The Institute at the University of Wisconsin-Stevens Point works with businesses to develop sustainability solutions that will create jobs, enhance quality of life, and improve the environment. Now the Institute has launched a compostability test for biodegradable materials, the first university-based offering of this service in the U.S. This test method is for companies that are starting to develop biodegradable packaging materials for the marketplace. The test determines the biodegradability of the material under industrial composting conditions. This is important not only for product development, but also to help validate certain labeling claims and not least to help ensure compliance with the Federal Trade Commission's recently revised Green Guides. WIST developed its compostability protocol with the help of faculty and graduate students in the university's College of Natural Resources. In order for a product to be considered compostable, it needs to go through three tests according to ASTM standards. Uh, these tests are a disintegration test, a biodegradation test, and a plant test. For the disintegration test, this is a 12-week test in which the product is incorporated into a composting environment. Over time it breaks down, it's at about 50% moisture, and at the end of 12 weeks, 90% of the product must have broken down and be able to pass through a 2mm sieve. That is considered compostable for that test. For the biodegradation test, this is a carbon dioxide capture test in which we are comparing a product that is breaking down in a composting environment in comparison to a blank, a positive control, of cellulose and a negative control of polyethylene. In this test, the positive control cellulose must break down 70% of its total carbon within 45 days in order to be considered valid, and in the course of 180 days, the product must break down at least 90% of a comparable amount to that positive control in order to be considered compostable through that test. As a final test, we need to show that the finished compost will not harm plant growth. So we do a germination and a growth test. After planting two different types of seeds, we allow them to start to grow. After half of the control plants have started to germinate, we then run a test for 14 to 21 days. After that time, we base the, uh, the passing of this test on the fact that 90% of the germination rate as well as the biomass has been achieved in comparison to the control plants. The Institute tests materials to ASTM's D6400 and D6868 standards. If you're a manufacturer developing compostable packaging materials, WIS can provide independent third-party testing. We're seeing increasing requests from customers for this test method, which can help differentiate products and help substantiate marketing claims. Offering this test is a natural extension of WIST lab services. We have competitive pricing, highly trained staff and are responsive to market needs in the coated paper and biodegradable plastics industries. WIST compostability testing is available now. To explore how WIST can help in your product development, call Paul Fowler at 715-346-3767. The Wisconsin Institute for Sustainable Technology, working with businesses to develop sustainability solutions that create jobs, enhance quality of life, and improve the environment.